is Dean DeCosta, and we are going to look at a new tool here that's out there. This is from the Right Fit uh, company, and as you can see, they actually have three tools. They have Right Fit, they have Job Fit. Now, I'm not going to talk about those in depth. I'll just tell you a little bit about them. Uh, the Right Fit is basically helps you determine the right candidate for the job. The Job Fit helps you determine the right job for the right for the candidate. So, kind of looking at it from different point of views. What we're really going to talk about is Right View, which is their sourcing tool. So as you can see, it gives you a nice interface, review search, employer title, whatever the case may be. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and put in the word Java. Um, we're going to put in, we're not going to put in employer, we're going to put in the word developer for now. And then we're going to put in a state, we're going to just go with, wa we're going to go with, uh, not California, we're going to go with Washington where I'm at, and we're going to search. And what we're going to get is a listing of results, in this case, 42. Now, it says top. Uh, the top limit you can pull out is 500, so they only have 42. Now, as it stands now, this is coming from their database. Um, however, uh, there are a bunch of new things that are going to be coming to this tool soon. I'll discuss them at the end. But for now, as you can see, you've got 42 results. And you've got this nice, pretty little keyword um, pattern thing with colors and stuff like that, which is really cool for the buzzwords. What's really cool about this is though, if as an example, if I go to Apache and highlight it and then click on it, I see the number of results with just the word Apache within their profile, in this case 11. If I want to go back to the original results, all I have to do is check it again and the 42 are back. And you can do the same thing with every single one of these things, like JSON, that's big for Java people, five documents that have it, and undo it. So now we're going to see what it looks like when you actually view one of these profiles. So we're going to view it, and as you can see, it doesn't move you off your page. Instead, it comes over it, and you get their name, you get uh, some inf their number within their ATSs, and you get contact information, if available. The way this tool is really designed to be as it stands now is designed to be a user interface into your ATS, on a much better user interface than most ATS systems have. They will come, they set it up, so it is basically... Uh, this is how you'll get access to the people in your ATS system. With that said, though, what they got coming is going to take this to the next level. Not only will it be a user interface to your ATS system, but they are eventually going to go ahead and, and have free social searching, which means it'll go out side of your ATS to look on the social sites for people. It's also going to be able to do free Boolean type of searches, just free on the net. And those social sites will include LinkedIn and stuff like that. So it, it, it's soon going to be more than just the user interface for your ATS system. <laughs>